Alright, let's have a look. Where is uh, Neshi? There we go. Neshi, the Crystal Beast God with the Avatar. Let's see what happens. I'm just trying to see yes. what he brings to the table. He's everything Ryan wishes he could be. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Has the bling rarity uh, Crystal Beast deck on Duel Links. Like, probably has a better Crystal Beast collection than Ryan as well. Like, it's just a whole thing. <laughs> Oh, oh there it is, he, he knew Ryan. it. Oh, he knew it. Let's go. I'm trying to see Crystal Beast pop off. Oh, and that gets ashed. Ash on Bond is like pretty huge, right? Like Bond is the one that does the most in terms of spells. Mm -hmm. Adds one and places one. Like that's pretty relevant. Ooh, Ogre and then Ogre well. on really the just, Pegasus. Yeah, going for broke. I mean, that just means he gets to put two in the back uh anyway it's just that means like rare value is live here. if they do play it i don't i'm not sure like i haven't really looked at a crystal beast deck sadly um but i i do know some builds play it and some builds don't let, let me put it that way so what is neshi really trying to do from here he just needs to be able to summon a rank granite to get to his researcher to start his fiber play that's usually how it goes okay we see crystal bridge or rainbow bridge rather that just got some ad for any spell or trap uh, across promise Ooh, promise and then put another card off the Pegasus, right? Because again, these cards came out in 2007. Once per turn doesn't exist for a good majority. Yeah, how are you ever going to summon Crystal Beast twice? Exactly. Could Who would have thought? What happened here? What was uh, What was the bad here? Uh oh, he didn't declare the effect of something. Oh okay. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Very good, very good, very good. I feel like Savvy doesn't care. I feel like Savvy definitely doesn't care. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Everyone's just here to have fun. Yeah, he really should have put it back on the field first, and then back in the deck it's we can okay. check the. I feel like we can trust uh, yeah. Neshi. Yeah. If he yeah. No, I a... definitely think like. If he there's a good amount of the, uh, the card like... that he added. Whoops, my bad. But. Yeah. Can you imagine? Ooh, He's like, wait a minute. Set back or, okay. Yeah, Conclave is very good. of truth. So let's read Conclave real quick. A once per turn, if a face of Crystal Beast monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can summon a Crystal Beast monster from your deck. Uh, you can send this face of card from your field to the graveyard, then target a Crystal Beast card you control, and one card, bounce them. Okay, so it's just... It's uh, irrelevant. You can just have it up, and then have it be... Uh, what's the card I'm looking for? A unicorn. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. It's uh Silcoitus, so, so right? It's just the same same sort of concept. Yeah, Silk. So, yeah, no. Magic Specter, Kieran. Yes. Exactly, yes. The Kieran ability be like. Oh, there's a network. Okay, I guess that has to be bounced pretty much like. uh, Not necessarily immediately. It would have to be bounced immediately. He thinks that he's going to be able to summon four gates here, but we know that he only plays three. So. Let's see what happens here. Well, he should Paul Gates also just, just isn't it. game, right? Like, that, there's no issue there. It doesn't matter that it's not game. It's more so the... Zero. But, like, I feel like you just don't want to let him do this. But actually, maybe you just do let him make the S0 because you do get to bounce it out. Taking 4K or whatever. Maybe you just count out a Megaclops. But then, actually, that's not true. You have a Conclave. You're literally out of... Uh, <laughs> So yeah, maybe it wasn't correct to actually bounce it just because you're not actually afraid of anything he is doing with it and you could have kept him under the restriction of not being able to summon any more. But now he's just free to do whatever he wants. Uh, he's just going to uh, get access to his Eldritch Engine, whichever one he might need at the time. How are Crystal Beast still alive? Uh, Neshi will find a way. Exactly. It is his life's mission. You gotta keep them alive, man. Oh, sending a Karo, okay, just grabbing uh, a Sanguine here, as they often need. Not seeing any access to the Dogma engine, uh, immediately at least. We can assume that one of those, that, that other set back row is another. But it could potentially just be a punishment. Uh, there's no normal summon in his hand either. So, what are the other two cards in his hand here? Another copy of Network, maybe? Or. Um, because if it wasn't normal summons, it could potentially just be two more hand traps. It couldn't have been an Ecclesia because he would have summoned that as well. Like uh, I feel like it's pretty easy to tell that they're either hand traps or bricks. They could have been. It could be a Fleur. It could be another network. It could be a Lord even. Ooh, 
I don't know what this does. But it clears the Pegasus off the field, which might be more relevant than we're giving it credit for. Yeah, he's just shotgunning these effects here. Uh, well, now he doesn't have to worry about Flurry. He doesn't have to worry about... Just kind of doesn't really have to worry much about anything. Well, like, Flurry isn't doing too much without another Dogmatic Guard on board. So, I guess, like, maybe... Uh, I'm just trying to think what he's doing with right. these cards. Maybe that's, like... That's where he's just like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, well... If they have to have something in the uh, in the spell of trap card zone, uh, maybe he has another copy. Like he has a copy of Valor or something in hand. Maybe he's on a Valor the Sapphire Pegasus. That could be like a potential thing. Uh, that's like sort of where I'm trying to work out why he would do it so early. Um, just like to keep cards out of the back room. Didn't he bounce the Pegasus, or am I missing something? Okay. He yeah, he should have bounced the Pegasus, but I guess he's just opting not to. Or let's I thought see. he did with the concave, right? He, I'm pretty sure he did, yeah. Yeah. Be interesting to see what he's setting up. Uh, maybe he just realizes that summoning a Pegasus here does not really let him do much of something else. Cosmic Cyclone, yeah, that's a big one. Cosmic is crazy against this deck. Banish them? Ugh. I hate to see it. So he's just, again, using a Sanguine so early. I, I like Unless he's just not entering the battle phase and he's here i don't see the point of doing it like this is there a world where he just passes back here i don't know so i feel like he would always just swing right like what's it gonna be a fossil dino like uh d prison on the golden lord i mean that would yeah. be crazy right that would be upsetting <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> uh, i think you could see sebi also opting to not turn the conquistador to attack because like this deck uh can you know just Put two level fours on board quite easily, you know, potentially leading to Utopia double, uh, just killing him through the Conquistador. So there's always a uh, potential for that. Tragic yeah, there's no need to be greedy. Okay, we're going for the Ultimate Crystal Magic. I don't know what that does. So a solid film. I have never seen that card before. I have never seen that Very card good. before in my life. You should read it. <laughs> Tell everyone on chat. Yes. I love your voice. When your Crystal Beast monster is destroyed by battle, you can send seven Crystal Beast cards with different names from your hand, deck, and or face-up uh, field to the grave. Special summon one ultimate crystal fusion monster from your extra deck. Okay, so this summons the big, uh, this summons the new rainbow card. If a face-up ultimate crystal <laughs> monster you control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard, place any number of crystal beast monsters from your grave, face up in your spell and trap card zones. That seems very good. Yeah, that's uh, for the ridiculous. purpose. Yeah, like that's just miracle fusion as a trap. Or not even miracle fusion, it's just like Shadal fusion as a trap. And then, yeah, there's the new one, Rainbow Over Dragon. Is that hey. the new one, or is that an old one? I, uh... Uh, it's a sort of newish, oldish. Rainbow Ryan. Over Dragon with just summon Ryan. So, yeah, that's why I'm here. Uh, I noticed this. I believe this is the deck doctor. I believe this is the deck doctor that I made for Neshi. Like, that he's playing right now. Like, I made, I made a Trap Trick Ultimate Crystal Magic uh, deck doctor for him um, in... July, June, I don't remember what month, but I believe that is what he appears to be playing at the moment, or at least, a, you know, a slightly modified version of it. Maybe he's he's updated the traps used, but the biggest issue with Ultimate Crystal Magic, well, you know, of the many issues, right, is that it is a battle trap, and all the ways to search it, telegraph it to your opponent, right? For the same reason that searching Mirror Force is not actually, like, a viable strategy. Like, Mirror Force Launcher will never be good, because if you show your opponent you have Mirror Force... They just don't attack, right? Yeah. Trap trick, you can actually activate what? while they're declaring an attack. And they can't stop the attack. They can't redeclare because nothing actually changes. Then you actually get to resolve all the crystal magic. And then you can actually just, you know. Hold up. Does Sebi whole... play a 4,000 attack card to send off punishment? Mega Clops. Ah. Oh. Now I look stupid. Very good. That's crazy. Oh, but he, he, he chained the effective Rainbow Over Dragon, which yeah. is shuffle yeah. all cards in the field into the deck. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, especially <laughs> yeah, against really, Eldritch, right? The same the concept of, like, Rainbow Nears. Like, just yeah. really makes the game simplified and then yeah. cuts them off a lot of cards, so... Yeah. And then, unfortunately, we don't have uh, the Crystal Beat Zenith guy, but in theory, if we did, then Pegasus would be crazy here. <laughs> but we do not, so Pegasus does very little here. This but is going to be kind of Pegasus gruesome. Like, he does cover. know that Sebi has the network in hand. Uh, if that's a trap card that doesn't interact with the network, then we could see an OTK coming down here. Unfortunately, though, 
There is only one copy of Calling in Sevi's deck, so the network Yeah, but nothing. Neshi shouldn't know that, and we're going to go off the yeah. variables of what he doesn't know, right? Yes. That's, but he has no, but the thing is, the so thing is he cannot even attempt to activate it. Like, he, he's yeah. going to wait until he sends for cost, and he just cannot. Yeah, yeah exactly. 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 Like but Neshi is right. prepared. Like, yeah. again, we probably shouldn't yeah. give away too much information like that, but Neshi was prepared to activate the concave. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so think about it. <laughs> if that's what you mean, yes. I'm more so wondering, like, why was it if we saw that card being set, why would he attack? Because he did it on attack yeah. declaration, right? It's he did not it on a... attack declaration. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, yes, perfect. I actually, verbatim, just explain that aside. Yeah. But you... <laughs> oh, yes, okay, okay. Yes, Ryan's argument yeah, is like, hey, let's set it. it let's, let's trick them. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, it's that's done. all I need to say. I, I I'll be going now. I have, I'm... Oh, you don't want to stay here and join us? Okay, I see how it is. I cannot right now. Tomorrow I will. Tomorrow I will actually be streaming the whole right. thing. Tomorrow the you'll whole, be the MC. Run it. Whatever. Yeah, tomorrow Are we I will turning be on channel points tomorrow, right? But we could. We'll see. Anyway, I will be I will be leaving now. Goodbye. But I just needed to tell you that Crystal, all the McChrystal magic is cool, and Trap Trick is good, and this is the best deck ever. All right, goodbye. <laughs> yes, best deck ever. We'll see if uh, so. It looks like a Lilith drop down, being able to uh, get him to another uh, copy of Sanguine if he needs to, or just a punishment here. Let's see. Conclave can only bounce a card. It can bounce anything. So and whatever this little sense doesn't truly matter. But it's more so how much pressure. Can Neshi provide? I do think Neshi is actually in a very good because if he, as long as he gets to bounce anything and the Pegasus stays on the board, then he can normal summon the other one and then go for his uh, his granite play, He's searching his researcher and starting his uh, his Hawk uh, engine. Man, oh, man. so clean. I love watching it. <laughs> it just makes me want to... My friend has max rarity uh, Crystal Bees. Like, everything... He, he did it before the buyouts happened. Like, before the whole Crystal Bees structure that got announced or whatever it was. Uh, you know, like, mm -hmm. the lead-up to it. The polling and everything. So, if need be, you know, if I think this deck looks clean enough, I'm gonna go over to my friend's house and take his max rarity Crystal Bees. And I'm surely going to enter a tournament with it. Remote I don't think Sebi so. knows that there is a button for Lilith. Yeah. He's showing all three copies of the... That, that happens too. I didn't know uh, until someone brought it up. A lot of the cards now, I just hover over to see if they have the button when I play them. Like all yeah. the weird sort of interaction cards. Yeah. Remember how I said I turned off all my fans just so like uh, you guys can hear me better? So I could like turn off like the noise suppression thing? I am drenched in sweat right now. <laughs> it is, it is so hot. Love, huh? Yeah. Yeah. The love of the chat. California has been cooking lately. Just no chat. I do it for you. <sighs> oh, man. Just one more round, boys. And then I get to go to bed. I can't wait. Yes. <laughs> Drink some water? Uh, I shall. I've been drinking some water. I have a little bit. Of, oh, I have to refill my bottle, actually. We're running out, we're running out of steam. <laughs> Asala, drink some water. Yes, Asala, you're getting dehydrated. Mm -hmm. Does someone want to redeem some uh, some of their points so Asala can drink a whole gallon of water? That'd be crazy. Wait a minute. <laughs> Let's set up webcam. Just drown me right here. <laughs> yeah, can we get the whole chat hydrated? Yes. Can we get a Gabe Fiji water in the chat? Yes. I is that what that is? Points. Okay. Ten k points. I got ten gallons of water, bro. I'm ready. Let's Is that what he went? Ooh, Neo Fusion. All right. As God intended, we're gonna see. <laughs> we're gonna see some uh, some crazy stuff. What did the Conclave uh, bounce here? I assume just the trap that uh, Lilith set. No, yeah, I assume so. Right. Let's read Conclave. It just says target a card, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It did bounce. And then, the trap so why there. is there? 
Why is there still? Oh, why is there still a Pegasus set? I thought it would be bounced to hand. He uh, summoned the Pegasus have... back. And then, shouldn't he have two? Or am I missing something? He bounced one back with Concave. He, I thought he bounced the one that was in his uh, his back room. So then he could summon the other one and make a granite. Uh, I'm going to assume he did the well, correct thing. Because I wasn't paying attention, sorry. Yeah, I, I assume like he got it correct. I'm just like missing out. How much time in the round? Uh, they have until the hour. Yeah. So yeah. Yep, yep. 36 minutes. Well, yeah. 36 minutes. 35 minutes and some change. Depends how you want to look at it. It was 36 sure. on the dot when I said it, weirdly. Go me. Oh, Pegasus got Gamut. Okay. That also makes a lot of sense. Uh, they, yeah, that good, does good, make good. a lot of sense. That does make sense, yeah. There Sorry, was, was, in fact, was, a game on the board. The I should have said Max. that. My bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go, Max. I got you, and I also brought you a drink. The Pegasus just keeps moving back and forth, huh? Will yeah, it, ever be it does safe? do that, huh? I'm trying to see another archetype that does, like, similar things, but I feel like there already is one, and I'm just neglecting it. <laughs> it's like, it's the whole thing. Uh, Hero kind of does that now, oddly yeah, enough. The like copying Paris his and friend Jesse. Yep. Yeah, yeah, the Vision Heroes. Or... That's the comic. Is that what they are? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like there is another one that, like, Insectors? No, that doesn't count. Like... No, Insectors just cheating. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. Noble Knights? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. That, that also doesn't count. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, we see a network lead here. Let's see if Neshi has a way to interact with the incoming Zexel. Is there a consideration for Sebi to just go for the Mega Clubs here? I feel like I always default to the Zexel early, especially turn one uncontested. No, I feel I like it's worth it, right? The Mega, Clubs is, the Mega Clubs is unplayable in this matchup because Conclave exists. Yeah. That's correct. You are correct. No. Yeah. Definitely true. You're good to just stack them. Stack them up. Yeah, it's like Less click actions, right? Mm -hmm. Did Crystal Beast win? They won game one, yes. Uh, putting a lot of pressure. Resolving Neos Fusion, resolving the uh, the uh, the ultimate crystal trap card and just doing everything. It was crazy, dude. I love it. All right. Hello, Hi. Ryan. What brings you here? I have a few more minutes. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. Maybe even until the stream is over. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. There's only really one, one more round, round left, Ryan. If you're here, yeah. we can get through. Uh, we we've seen some crazy decks, by the way. Mirza is playing a Harpy deck that he uh, is using the uh, the combo script for. And apparently, his deck can do everything that the Rocket uh, deck can do in terms of making a board. So he uh, he worked out the percentages and like all the numbers and like how to play through hand traps with Harpy cards to do the exact same thing that the Rocket deck has been doing. So he makes That's Romulus cool. and then does all the, uh, the cool stuff and then makes Fibrax uh, off the Link Cross and everything else. It's insanely fun. So we see a Cosmic get chained to the S0, just to banish something here, getting rid of a Karo, fine. Uh, just setting up. Uh, no Enfei Sanguine, so that's a little unfortunate. Emerald Toad uh, contests the Zexel quite well here. <laughs> People don't want to talk about that. What, Emerald Tortoise? Y yes, yes, that yes. one. Yes, Emerald Tortoise is actually nice here. <laughs> Only Cyber Dragon can overcome its power. Mm-hmm. But I think the odds of him actually setting Emerald Tortoise are pretty low because I don't think, I doubt he plays more than one. I don't know for sure. But, but I'm, I'm being very hopeful. Likely. I think it might be there. Huh? Ooh, he's opting to maybe not attack here. Knowing what because the... Because he ran into the new right? Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think there are multiples, but there could be. I actually don't know. Okay, this is weird. Or I would find it unlikely. He's trying to figure it out. <laughs> multiple, you know, Emerald Tortoise in their deck, but... I feel you. But even if it's not Emerald Tortoise, he's probably worried about uh, the uh, the ultimate crystal magic trap, right? That's the... Uh... Mm -hmm. That too, yeah. You're, that's actually much more interesting. Yeah. Probably yeah. hitting the tank on that. <laughs> <There should be. laughs> Damn, that's uh, that's some fitting trash talk. I appreciate that. Yes. That's wholesome trash talk. I like that. So yeah, having battle traps, like again, they're proving why traps are some of the best answers to a zero because you're playing them on your opponent's turn where they do not have any kind of protection with the zero. Uh, you're getting another uh, turn off with a zero here, but unless he flips up some traps that uh, get access to his other engine, the, uh, the Numeron engine isn't going to be doing quite enough. Uh, we're seeing just another set monster and another set back yeah. row. 
the other consideration is like is like it doesn't even have to be all no crystal magic. It could just be just be a, a, a crystal conclave activated on attack declaration, and then he yeah. just gets a free Pegasus from his deck, right? Yeah, that could be very mm. relevant. I didn't know what Concave did outside of bouncing, so there's that, which is why you're the resident crystal Wait, master in Duelist Academy. So yeah, Conclave is basically Yang's in creation, which I'm sure a lot of people in chat don't even know what that card is. But yeah, they really Yang's in creation. If if you remember what Yang's in creation is, Crystal Conclave is Yang's in creation. Zex it summons resolving the three killed. turns in a row. But it really, it didn't it really, it really also yeah, did no. nothing. It didn't yeah. Oh, anything, but there's yeah. the Sanguine. Yeah. Uh, will we see an Ash We finally got the Sanguine. Probably not. Uh, he right? cannot. He cannot because of Oh, Azura. sorry, you're right. It is in the end phase. I am just dumb. Yeah. Disregard, disregard, disregard. So I guess we can't really see any interact on the Sanguine here, and it's just going to summon the Lord, and then like... Uh, Sebi's gonna have everything sort of flowing uh, a bit easier, but he still has to be wary of the back row if it is like concave or the uh, the crystal magic. So, yeah, I mean, if he has like a punishment set, he could attend, uh, potentially get to play around it, being able to send the mega well to out the the guy. But then the um, the monster will just be shuffling back everything. I don't yeah. imagine that he would want to use that effect as he's committed just uh, as his opponent has. And at the moment, there is a sanguine in the grave. Uh, I hope Sebi doesn't shock on that effect so, and like use it early. He might as well wait till the end phase to play around. I have around, a line uh, that like I'm very skeptical about revealing on stream, uh, but I might bring it up after the fact because I think it might actually be potentially game breaking. Um, so I'll bring it up after this match. But please remind me because I think this is going to be sure. the coolest interaction. Sure. Okay. Sure. Something I've been thinking about as well is just um, this is likely Sebi's first time reading any Crystal Beast card. Right, like yeah. realistically, yeah. and I feel like they've played each other in the tournament before. Oh, they he have. Hasn't run okay. Into the yeah. Okay, I see. I see. Like, like I mean, like Neshi has been playing Crystal Beast forever. I feel like everyone that's plays in our Duelist Academy tournaments have gotten kind of used to running into this, and then there it is: uh, Ultimate Crystal Magic and right, Conclave being Conclave. activated yeah. here. Okay. So my line of play, which I think I can bring up now, is when he has two set. You can afford to just put the Zexel into the set card, right? It flips it up, it lets the punishment become live, um, and it doesn't trigger any of these cards, right? Because it has yeah. to be destroyed by battle? Yeah, so you're just able to no, bounce no, off with zero Conflict, attack. I believe triggers no matter what. Sorry? Oh, it does? Okay. Yeah. Is destroyed by battle Conflict or card effect? Be destroyed by, by battle. Uh, of course, but like the, the argument here is that we do want to get punishment online if he does have access to it. Mm-hmm. And then we can like milk value with the elder entity. You can do like a bunch of stuff like that. I think that was the correct approach to take uh, with the Zexel here. Obviously, it can be like a little like it's, it's damage you don't like necessarily want to eat. And maybe he should have done it maybe a turn prior. Um, but like if he's not like familiar with the Crystal Beast deck, I think their base defense is like pretty high, right? Like a thousand will bounce off quite a lot of them, if I'm not mistaken. Ryan, you could probably intervene and tell me when I'm incorrect, but. Amber Mammoth, I believe, is 16. Yep. Pegasus, as you can see, is 12. 12 yep. um, I think the only ones... It kills Ruby Carbuncle, and it kills uh, Amethyst Cat. Yeah, so if... And Sebi... I don't remember... I think Cobalt Eagle might be 1,000. So I think it might just be a push on, on, on Cobalt Eagle, but I don't remember. Yeah, so maybe it was worthwhile last turn. If Sebi does have access to Punishment, uh, for him to have entered the battle phase and attacked one of the set cards, obviously there only being one... Um, and then dictating the rest of his play based on that. Obviously giving himself, like, uh, a couple more openings to, like, deal with back row through uh, the other entity. All their defenses right now. But yeah, continue. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Ruby at the lowest. Ooh, so it does kill Cobalt Eagle. Okay, so it's about it's about a 50-50. Okay, okay, bounces off Tiger. So it's yeah. technically... You, you could argue it's it's a three out of seven, but it's not because the deck definitely plays three Pegasus. Mm -hmm. So it's probably like three out of ten, right? Or three out of nine or something. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 66% of the time, um, it will just flip it up. And then your punishment, and, and you can actually wait to punishment until the next turn when S0 is online again. Yeah, and then he won't be able to activate any of his traps, uh, triggering them. Yeah, that could be very relevant. Yeah. That's, uh, again, if you're not familiar with how this deck works, you might not see lines of play like that. But that's why we get paid the big bucks. I'm, I'm looking at crashing some cards into set cards to <clears> flip <throat> them up. But Yeah. And if it ever comes up, please credit me. If you're playing a tournament and you have to attack a well, set Crystal Beast monster. 
Chat, yeah. I, I see all uh, that we 77 of you. Haven't seen, we haven't really seen that since Sky Striker, right? Where they had a hard time dealing with set monsters. You sometimes have to, like, attack your ray into the into the set Ash to, like, flip it up, and then you afterburner it afterwards or something. Yeah. Yeah, like, keep on, really he, weird. Since he can put a Lord in his hand, he can do quite a lot with that as well. Lord just sending everything slowly is just a good way of dealing with things. Yeah, Lord is good, right? It doesn't trigger a lot of these abilities, too, because they also destroy by battle or destroy by a battle or card effect. Yeah. So if he's yeah, able to cycle the board repetitively, he's able to just, like, you know, clear the back row, and that's really, like, the biggest issue for him at this point. But it is kind of like a neg two every time, unless yeah. the spells you're discarding are recyclable, or in this case, maybe, like, the face-up network, like, he's already gotten value out of it, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, uh, by that I mean to, like, bring the, the, the Lord back yeah, into yeah, your to, hand. Yeah, to be able to pop again, yeah, for sure. Yeah. The issue is also, like, uh, getting this Lord off the board is also kind of tough uh, in this deck especially, but... Ooh, a prison. Ooh, hello. Could be good. What does that do? There's no, there's definitely no dragons in the graveyard. To get, uh... They're a beast. He can bring back, um, he can bring back, uh, well, regardless, I think we're going to see Conclave triggered here to bounce Pegasus and bounce the Lord no matter what he brings back, because yeah. there are no dragons, obviously. And hopefully that last set is, in fact, a punishment, and then he could just send the Megaclops and then force out the Neos, uh, or like whatever it's called, the Rainbow Dragon. Mm -hmm. Then we'll see a pretty similar situation to last time, where, like, technically, after the Over Dragon, right, um, he gets to Conclave the Pegasus back into his hand. So... But the difference is, Sebi has a lot more going for him. Uh, just three other cards in hand, he might be able to do a lot. Well, he didn't do anything like the last three turns when it was under as zero either, so... Yeah, but I mean, like, I think things like... like you can assume they're kind of like hand traps or something. There's like, not much else that they could be. Uh, he's Conclave bouncing the back row. Yeah. What did he? Uh, what did he actually bounce back? Interesting. Oh, yeah. He bounced back the the, the Pegasus. The Pegasus, right? Yeah. Not using the set, so it's really not a punishment here. This is really awkward. I I, I don't know. I don't know what Sebi really has going for him. Hopefully, he didn't just draw multiple Numeron cards again. That so he is summoning the Pegasus. Yeah, punishment resolving, just summoning the Pegasus. So oddly enough, if it's destroyed on Sebi's side, it does still spell and trap zone, doesn't it? He can put it into his own spell and trap card zone, and then he can send it for cost to add back Lord. Is that how that works? I yeah. thought it like triggers engrave. No? Nope. Nope? Okay. Cool. It hits the, the limbo zone, right? Where it's like it's not quite a graveyard effect, but it's like it's basically it's basically well it's because it doesn't activate right it's like no. a, it's a continuous effect Passive. that as it is attempting to be destroyed and go to the graveyard you can put it in your spawn trap cards then instead very good all right we see a veiler now i feel like he should have uh if he had this veiler the whole time he should have used it with the s0 a while force out some of the cards here because like an access code is very good to just pop back row hmm. i guess my play where I put the read on him having Vela also makes a bit more sense now, because that would sort of fit the role a little bit better. Maybe that was on a previous turn. A previous game, actually. Yeah, it was a previous game. Disregard me. We definitely Vela. might see um, an Overdragon soon, I feel. Summoning oh. Ogre. Oh, no. He uh, must have sided out the Vela or drawn it. Yeah, he just, I mean, if he drew well, it, he, he can summon it, it from him. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah like very nice. Right? Yeah, now, what is this fight we're doing? Does he, like, is, there's no other spellcaster on the board. Maybe he well, missed the requirement on Selene there. He like, just oh, make he access code with a bunch just of bosses, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, I mean, but there's only one one pop. Like, how significant is that? Uh, like, he can make he can make another link, too, if he plays it, but... Yeah, true. Ooh, Gerd's coming down. Probably not doing too much, just gonna thin out and get him to a, oh. a gold. Maybe you just keep it over face up as like a trap card type yeah, deal. That could be good. 
Sure. And then he can just link away the S0. The Pegasus putting the Pegasus in his side, as mentioned earlier. Well, no, because if you link it away, it goes to grave. It doesn't go as far as if you link it. Oh, okay. Ah, They're not easy. that good as solid. They don't flirt forever, but they try their best. I mean, the network is there, so it's like the, the goal has been accomplished on that end. Just making an access code, I think, immediately for which is kind of what you want. Because, like, adding an ogre to your hand doesn't even matter, right? Like, it's sure. Anything oh, that ends? Oh. Oh. What? What do you mean, no? You have two, like, uh, I guess, like, okay. I, I feel like I he could have just used them. Because I, I think if he uses them, then the, then the Overdragon is for sure just shuffling them back in the deck, right? I, I know, but I'm just like, it's more so than that. Why didn't you make access? Like, what do you have to lose? That's a good, that's a good question. Uh... Well, now this can just, uh, you can use the Ogre on this. Hopefully he knows. You can use Ogre on the Pegasus? Yeah, he could. he could. I suppose you, I suppose you could. Maybe he arguably should. I'll be right back. Come on. All right. You can kind of tell he was getting farther and farther away. Ooh. Okay, so what does Carbuncle do? Uh, it just gets summoned as many Crystal Beasts as can. Uh, not anything there at the moment. Uh, hmm. What do you think he's going to be able to do here this, this turn, Bowden? Oh, oh, no. oh, there we go. I have no idea. Wish I could tell you. These are all relative, uh, relatively unlearned, me? unlearned cards to me. Like I'm, I'm still oh, learning. Oh, to you, yes. Yes. Uh, here we have Neo's fusion. <laughs> well, I know that one. That one's an easy one. He's probably just yeah. Like I, think just, shot, right? I think he just wins this turn. Yeah, it looks like it. I think this is lethal. I think so. He can, he can, he can put, he can put a monster back, and yeah, that's just, that's just game. Yeah. Unless it's Valor. Oh, okay, it got Valor. All right, so we we were pretty sure that he had a, a Valor in his hand, right? Based on how he played, based on how he played uh, the previous turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, n no, but yes, right? Like, like because he, not he didn't summon a Valor. I, I think the only reason he wouldn't have summoned Valor off the fiber is if he drew it. So, I, I guess, but then he could have just like Celine access right. coded, right? He could have summoned it from his hand, but he didn't. And I think the only reason he wouldn't summon it is because he drew it and decided he, he didn't want to summon it from his hand. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is just seven thousand. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is just still eight thousand. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Did he did he use the effect to make Overdragon gain attack? I don't know. He didn't. He didn't use its effect. He really didn't, no. Oops. Yeah, he didn't use its, its effect. Yeah, he could have used its effect to banish a uh, Topaz Tiger in Grave and gain 1600 attack. Well, the more I you know. Oh, oh, you now we know. <laughs> I had to double check if they were both level 10, and if you were a sicko that put trains in his deck, but like, this is also probably a restriction on Neos, right? You also can't summon anymore because yeah, of Neos exactly. fusion. I was like, where is this going? <laughs> what happened? Yeah, so I think that was his big shot to have game there, and I think he missed it, so we'll see what happens. Well, he did miss it, but we'll see what, you know, happens, uh... We'll see what happens next when he gets two Outlitch cards. Yeah, I mean, well, again, his opponent kind of gets over Dragon a bit. Cards, I mean. As you do. God, I am drenched in sweat. Thank you, Sala, for that be beautiful that visual. No, 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 you don't understand. Like, I had to I turn off all my fans because, like... You know what? Let's keep it that way. I'd prefer not to understand. 
<laughs> Bowden knows. Bowden understands why. Oh, yeah. The fan? Too much. Could we shut up? Yeah, Dave asks, can this deck actually summon Rainbow Dragon? Yes, it can. <laughs> and in fact, it pretty much did. And it will. And it, yeah. <laughs> it summoned every form of Rainbow Dragon. What more do you want? Rainbow he actually, he actually Rainbow has every Dragon. Every form of Rainbow Dragon. Alright. Yeah. Can we get uh, a couple people in the chat typing uh, one? And then I'll post Nishad's birthday present from his brother. And you guys will think it's the coolest thing ever. You oh, it, is actually, it was actually very cool. Yeah, it, it was, was very, actually very cool. cool. Yeah, that was actually super cool. Can we get some ones in chat? Ooh, there we go. Uh, right. Right. Two, three, four. A little more. All right, there we go. All right, I'll bring it up now. Hopefully it's the right copy paste. So well, Nishad's talk brother about a simplified game state. made a mold of the Millennium Eye. And then they put wax and made a candle tell yeah. me this is not the coolest thing you've ever seen it is very cool yeah that is I very this cool is insane yeah like especially because it's the millennium eye like what yeah. else can we do here i've been watching a lot of umbrella academy can we make a, a prosthetic like could that be the next step <laughs> Ooh, that would be clean and i'm gonna go get guys. some water we'll go back to the game right now very simplified game state like I'm saying, he just, he just, I believe he just set out Elixir and then sent it to Summon Lord, so... Yeah. Crystal Beast could have taken the game last turn, a slight misstep, cost, could potentially cost him the game. Oh, wrong one. No, you cannot summon Gamma with Lord's Effect. You may not do that. Hello, somebody please intervene. You cannot do that. He might have missed Okay. Calm Very down, good. Ryan, you're going crazy. <laughs> I haven't slept and I'm still just like, yeah, he definitely just saw two effect monsters in his hand and he made an error. <laughs> One of the Rainbow Dragon fusion monsters that he had is is a quick effect. You contribute him to shuffle all cards on the field into the into the deck. So that's what happened. But that was like a crazy series of misclicks, because he even put a counter on the gamma. That's why I was tilted. Like if he just put the gamma on the field, then like then like picked it up. <laughs> It would be great, but then he just put a counter on it, <laughs> and I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> they look the same, right? There's no discrimination. Yeah. <laughs> sure. All right, what happened? Oh, uh, like we oh okay. Best game. Yeah, that could be a thing, Gabe. That could be um pretty cool, actually. But it's also when your opponent activates a monster effect. So that just can't happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you actually can't gamma. If you could gamma yourself, Cyframes would unironically be like the best deck. Yeah. Weirdly, huh? If you, you just like, get to make her no, like a turn one you every single time. Yourself. If you could literally like delta your own spells in Cyframe, the actual Cyframe deck would be insane, in my opinion. <laughs> like if you could just play like Upstart and just delta yourself and then just fiber combo. That's insane. <laughs> Uh, that's so good. <laughs> is it? Anyway. <laughs> it would! What, are you telling okay, me yeah. that if you had I nine know. cards that just... If you could alpha on your own summon of Lambda? That would be ridiculous. <laughs> you can't tell me it wouldn't be. It'd be pretty clean. Ooh, the Garnet. The Carbuncle. But are they really Garnets at all? Who knows? He's just popping it instantly, being a really aggressive... That's... In I don't know why he... I don't think that is really necessary... Um, I mean, what, yeah, it would never even be twelve hundred. I don't, I don't, I don't really, huh? I don't know what he's playing around by doing that. Yeah, he's just not letting him. Like, why are you being so aggressive? Like, you just don't have an interruption he's, on your opponent's turn. Not now. Like Rainbow Dragon here for a game, which is very funny because he has all seven Crystal Beasts. Oh God, I thought that was Rainbow Dragon. I mean, it's just in the graveyard, right? Because he Neos Fusion. There's no way he plays. He probably plays more than one. Really. I think he plays multiple Neos Fusion. I could be wrong about that. I think a but lot, like, of, I think a lot of these decks play multiple copies of Neos Fusion. Huh? Okay. I think these decks, like most of these decks, play multiple copies of Neos Fusion. In like yeah. this respect, yeah, it's like the yeah. you can it's draw it or you can try to play it. Right? It's like who cares? Well, I feel so. like it's like reasonable. Yeah. Okay. Here, Crystal Promise. Ooh, we're getting a rank four. Is that just game? Does he play rank four that does that has four thousand attack somehow? Utopia well, I mean, Double. Utopia just, Lightning. Yeah. Oh. It'll be a light Gallant yeah, Granite. Gallant Granite. Gallant Granite, Gallant Granite yeah. Gallant Granite. That good. would be the one, wouldn't it? That would be the guy. Yeah. Well, there's the other... No, not the other copy of Effect Trailer. No, it was the other copy of Effect Trailer. What am I saying? I'm half awake. He used it already, yeah. 
He yeah, needs like again. This is where this conquistador would really hold out. Oh, I was just an emerald. Yeah, it's like he's he not. Just have all the room. Emerald slipping yeah, back in the room. <laughs> is that is that the play? Oh, he's gonna put back Neos and Rainbow Dragon, maybe, and then he can Neos fusion. Oh, I was gonna say special summon. He can just summon Neos, back. But... <laughs> yeah, he can. He can just special summon. That Neos. could be crazy. Back that could be BM. Very, I would love it. Ooh, that's very funny. Put him back. Yeah, back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Second, second. Predaplant time. Yeah, really. He could have. He could have anything. He could have uh, another Crystal Promise to bring back yeah. Carbuncle and make the Predaplant. He could have a lot of stuff going on for him here. All right, Neo's fusion off the top one time, or just the one he already had in hand would be Ooh, fine Emerald's, too. Emerald's also a rock, by the way. Don't oh, he that. already had. Okay, this is what we thought. All right, multiple Neo's fusion. So here we go, another Rainbow Neo's. This is broken. Oh, so we put back Rainbow Dragon Neo's and Rainbow Neo's. Oh, sick. <laughs> that works out perfectly. Crazy. It does, doesn't it? Does. it? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have to use the no, 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 all you, you have to do is swing. Back. No, now you lose to Ogre. No, 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 no. I don't think he has it. I don't no. think he has it. Ah! Well, we know one card in hand, right? Scammer? So... Ah! He's thinking. Uh, or maybe he's just reading. Even though it just happened, right? Performance are every Saturday of the month. Wait, can Neos Fusion protect... I'll be honest, I don't know if Neos Fusion has an effect. <laughs> It probably does. They all kind of do. Don't they? You can actually manage the card effect. Yeah, you can, can actually just it. manage the if, if it would get ogre. <laughs> just yeah. kidding. All right. Well, now it's just super game. Cool. Yahoo. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, yes, there's game, ten minutes left. Uh, unless, yes. unless mentioned otherwise, the tournaments are always every Saturday, right, Asala? Yeah. Like I, I don't think it'll be next Saturday for next week for obvious reasons. Uh, you just got to support Konami. Make sure to watch the remote. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, it will not be next Saturday because we will not be we, we we will not be streaming anything to compete with the remote dual invitational. So yeah, we will I not mean, have. I, I wasn't invited, so I was in a stream on my own. But <laughs> don't do that. I weren't. No, I'm just messing with you. <laughs>